Hey everybody, this is Tridang the Live here with a quickish, quickish video. Um, here is a rocket that I built for the second um, maybe the Reddit KSP challenge, whatever. Um, let's see, the guy's name is Autobom, Autobom, O-T-I-B-O-M. I put this challenge up, which is to circumnavigate the planet and land uh, perfectly on the launch pad. Um, and so I've made quite a few uh, attempts at this. A couple of times the game itself has actually let me down. There's been some flickering issues and some spinning issues. Um, I actually started to run out of hard drive and well, while, while recording the video and so I tossed all those videos. They're gone. They're you know deleted and whatnot. Um, and this is a brand new video and I'm going to make another attempt. This will be my fifth attempt. Um, and it and hopefully will include less crying and screaming at the uh, computer. But anyways, this is a custom, uh, not a custom, uh, well it's mostly custom. Um, I tried using a parachute to kind of slow me down and control it, um, but it's just as easy to use rockets. Um, I don't have to land safely, I just have to keep them alive so I don't have to, uh, there's no return trip, so I just kind of, there's a controlled crash. Um, and this is very similar to my moon rocket, it's just a little bit smaller, there's a, um, a few things missing. Um, so hopefully this time we'll see some success, um, and I'm just going to stop and start the video during the trip just to give you guys updates. See you guys in a second. One thing I will note right before we, we uh, get ready to make the turn is you notice there's an SAS here, an advanced SAS here. This is because I'm using um, RCS units to help me translate over to um, the launch pad. And uh, that, uh, the, uh, the SAS, the advanced SAS I should say, will fight against me otherwise. Um, but I have the advanced SAS on here as well just because it helps keep the whole thing under control. Um, and I'm going to be um, flying my ship toward 90 degrees. And the reason why that is is because the, the uh, rotation of the planet is going to help me um, keep my ship under, or actually give, me, give my ship more speed I should say. Um, and also the, the rotation of the planet is not going to throw me off accidentally. Um, I'm not sure that if I went some another direction if it would throw me off. Um, but it's just as good a reason as any. Um, so, see you in a second. Alright, out of fuel. Woohoo! Looks like our apoapsis is going to be at uh, 111. We'll wait until we get close to the apoapsis to do our uh, the rest of our burn to go forward. Alright, we're doing our burn now. One downside to the single engine is that it, uh, it takes a long time to burn. The upside to the single engine is that it's very, very controllable, which is pretty nice. Uh, moving, moving along here, we'll, we'll get this. Uh, 111 is a little higher than I would like. And that apoapsis is moving away, so I'm going to drop power just a bit catch up to this apoapsis so it doesn't raise. I like it a little lower because the it hits, you hit your brakes a lot faster, um, but it's not too bad. And now we have a paraapsis. And there we go. We have a nice low paraapsis. That way we hit our brakes and we hit the atmosphere and then just smash. Hopefully we time everything very well. But anyways, we're on our trek. All right, coming around the back side of the planet. And if you heard some uh, funny noises in the background, it's because I was making tea. And now I have a nice, delicious cup of hot Earl Grey. Earl Grey, the official tea of Kerbal Space Program. Buy your Earl Grey today at KSP shops everywhere. By the way, shout out to Train Band Man who just subscribed. That's right. If you happen to subscribe at any point during the rotation of uh, this orbit, I will in fact do a shout out to you. Trained, train band man. Thank you for subscribing. All right, party is about to begin. Bring down the speed. 
I'm going to switch this back, turn the SAS off. I'm going to give myself just a touch of power to get myself starting to spin. We're going to, here is uh, Africa, wherever place it looks like. Eh, we're a little bit off, but that's okay. We should be okay-ish. I'm usually a little off and have to correct. All right. Lock that SAS in. All right, and we are at 104. So I'm going to do my counter burn mid-ocean, I think, is what I'm going to do. Well, I've been, I've been doing the counter burn right about here. Yeah, I'm going to counter burn. I'm going to retro burn, excuse me, use proper terminology. All right, now I've got a lot of, a lot of tanks left, and the reason why I have so many tanks uh, is because I need a lot of power to do this. Okay, coming on in. And coming in at this height, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get it to to kind of like land right here. I think for the for this line right here. All right, bring this on in here. There we go. Should be able to. There's the uh, there's the uh, landing strip. Of course, we're not land looking for the landing strip. We're looking for the launch pad. Yeah, let's see NASA do that. Land right on your launch pad. Nope, they have to hit the ocean. 66% of the world is an ocean, and that's what they can hit. I'm just kidding. Interestingly, interestingly enough, while we wait for this to go down, the Russians rarely do uh, uh, water splashdowns. They actually usually land on the land proper. So, interesting fact. All right. When I first did this, I you could uh, hear me in the videos that I took, and I would just kind of be like, "What do I do?" But uh, I totally know what to do now. Uh, I guess that's okay. Fact of the matter is, I I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hoping for the best. All right, we're crashing down hard. I'm gonna go ahead and start pointing the ship kind of upwards. It looks like, according to this, that we're pretty much on target. Um, we wanted this this to be right on this line here, this 270 line. And uh, I'm going to aim this an upward kind of counter burning um, point. We've got two tanks left. Um, and we'll probably use all this fuel. Um, let's see here. We're not in the Atmo yet. So this line hasn't changed. As soon as we hit Atmo, this line is going to go zoom. And... Uh, we have to make we have to make any corrections basically by eye. They're like, ah, I think we need we need to come in a little farther. We're a little short. We need to burn forward. And I've done it every which way. I've I've, I've had this is my fifth attempt. Of one of the attempts, I actually came pretty close um, with little correction. But I've been all the way in the ocean and had to actually counter burn and burn all the way back. That was actually really close. The the world started flickering. I think it's because. The you're near zero and the the map needs to spin when you're at zero because the launch pad is at like uh, you know like a mathematical zero. Um, I'm not quite sure, but it it kind of is a little funky sometimes. All right, we're we're coming in. We're starting to hit the atmosphere, which is starting to slow down slightly. Should be seeing the apoapsis kind of kind of come in. Yeah, it's slowly coming in. And as we the farther down we go. Um, the apoapsis is basically going to become us, and then this is going to cut in. But we need to make sure this is this is the tricky part because you're just kind of eyeballing it. There's no there's no math to the thing. You notice also I haven't turned my RCS units on either because uh, I expect that I will need them in the future. And it looks like I'm pretty well lined up. Looks pretty good actually. I need to do that, and that is. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, okay. SAS is on. All right, we're hitting the atmosphere. We're coming down pretty good right now. Um, I'm gonna start banking this up. I need to come on, come on, come on, come on. This is where you just start panicking because you're coming in so fast. Okay, looking at this, need to apply some power. We are at very low. I need to apply. Where do I need to apply you at? There we go. We do that. Get this rocket over. Yes, 
move you up like this. How are we doing? Okay, that looks pretty good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're coming down. It's hard to tell your speed because you have to look for this and this and kind of do the math together. So, you know, okay. I need to do this to get back over this way. All right, tank and a half left, still coming down hard. I'm gonna burn a little harder here. And turn this way. It's hard to tell which way is which way. Okay. I think this should be pretty good. Still falling, still at full power, 3,000 uh, meters. There we go. I gotta look at this this thing this way. This is my front of my rocket. I marked it with an RCS unit, so I need to come back. No, 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 this way. Notice I've put the uh, the vectoring engine on here for purpose, and the purpose is this very maneuver right here, where we're we're kind of hovering, we're kind of moving over. Notice we have no parachute on here. We have to totally descend under power. Okay, now we are moving up, which is not what I want to do at all. And I want to move this thing more straight up and down because we are booking across here. Yeah, we're going to miss our target if we keep doing this. All right, got to look at the rocket this way. One of the other hard parts to this thing is just... Uh, I'm going to rotate this rocket here so that I can face this way so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Come on, keep rotating. There we go, there we go. All right, there we go. We should... All right, half a tank of fuel. We need to start coming down a little harder, a little faster. In fact, I'm just going to do that. All right, we used up a lot of fuel in this descent. Okay, now we're coming down too fast. There's no winning. There really is no winning in this. And I want to come back over. Whoa, whoa, my fingers were on the wrong keys. hate it when I do that. Okay, we're coming down too hard. Okay, now we're going up. Okay, here, we're coming down just about perfect. Everything's looking good. I'm gonna straighten this thing up. We're gonna run out of fuel in a second. Okay, now we're coming up. That's it for that one. Throttle down. We're gonna level this thing out. Turn the RCS units on and blast toward this thing. Still heading down. Oops, heading up, heading up, heading up. Okay. Under 500 meters, coming back up again. Whoa, 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 wrong way, wrong way. This is way harder than RCS maneuvers in space. Oh, wrong button. Okay, come on now. Looking at this. We're over the top. Come on, rocket. Do what I want you to do. Okay, we're we overshot. Coming down. Coming down too hard. A little more. There we go. A little less power. A little less power. A little less power. A little less power. There we go. A little more power. All right, coming down slowly is what we're doing. A little less power. We still have to descend, so it's kind of like, come on, rocket. Descend. All right, too fast, too fast down. Let me go this way, this way. It's hard. I can't see anything under the smoke. Let me go this way. Okay. Come on, rocket. Keep going down slowly. I might actually do it this time. Oh, too fast down. Good, good, good. Nope, nope, we're going up again.
possible. I could have sworn that was there was no way you could do that. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this has been Try Dying to Live with another Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. I absolutely cannot believe I pulled that off. I I thought this was impossible. <laughs> oh my gosh. I still have fuel left, like I kept crashing and the game would glitch and my hands are shaking and <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing, Rocket? I'm not even pushing buttons in the RCS unit it's sort of firing. Rocket? 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 What are you doing? No! What are you doing, Rocket? 